Right, exactly. As far as the offense, you know, we didn't play our best football. Every week going forward, we're going to get better. So this week coming up is going to be fun. Second half was definitely better than the first half, for sure. Um, I'm going to say C's. C's. Uh, take care of the ball. I definitely got to take care of the ball, especially in the red zone situation that we were in towards the end of the first half. Yeah, for sure. It, honestly, it felt good to get hit again, to be honest. It's been a long time, but it's good. We're going to learn from it and move forward. Yeah, I mean, he was you good. Yeah, I'm good. It felt good. Um, thinking back to that, that interception, you said you got to take better care of the ball. Is that just one bad decision? Is it like a little bit of a force because things were kind of stagnant? Yeah, a little bit of everything. You know, I could just, I honestly don't remember very vividly. I have to go back and film and watch it. It's just conversations, just talking, making sure we're on the same page. At that point in time, we were not, um, but it's a learning curve. We learn from it to make sure we're better next week. Right, so as an offense, just got to get better, learn from it, watch the film. And even though we got the W, we could always be better in every position, everything that we do. So this week going into practice, we're going to get a lot better for sure. It's not necessarily with the offense. I mean, what your defense was able to do time after time, you know, you gave them from a short field and they come and get a fumble recovery. What's that like when you, when you see that and, and to know that your defense kind of carried the, carried the way today? Well, it's awesome. Our defense is awesome. They play that. You could see that. They scored zero points. And, I mean, there's words can't explain how grateful we are to have them. Right, so being that we didn't have any film on them, we didn't know exactly what we were going to get. And what we thought we were going to get, we didn't get. So as the first quarter went on, we had to make some adjustments, talk through some things, and then we started rolling after that. Can you get any more specific? I'm kind of like, I know that like, they were giving you uh, like the flats. So you're just throwing more screens, and obviously the traditional stuff worked. But like, what, like what's it kind of like for ev everyone to go through? Is it as simple as an adjustment in play calling, or is it... Kind of Both. It's a, it's a lot of everything. You know, in the beginning, they were trying to make sure that they did not give up the deep ball. Everybody was dropping back, so we just took what they give us. And moving forward, they just got to change up a couple of things, and we had to change a couple of things on offense as well. Right, it was really good, especially because the defense they were playing, they were very pass prevention, and so the run game was there, and they, that was getting very well. And we have a great group of running backs. You know, everybody can go. They're very diverse. They all have their goods and their bads, and to see them all be able to go out there and play was fun. So as the adjustments kind of went along, that was something you guys kind of saw that you thought you could exploit? For sure. Yes, sir. Yep. Our O line was more dominant than the defensive line. Last question for Tommy. Right, like Coach was just telling us in the locker room, it's kind of the same deal. Playing on the road is hard, especially for the first game, not in your atmosphere. You know, it's always a team that this is one of their bigger games for the season, so they want they come out all excited. As you could tell, the crowd was amped. The student section was all over the place. So it was a different experience. Um, we came out with the win. That was the most important thing, and we're going to learn from it and get better.